In this video on indices, we're going to look at some exam questions. So the first question says, given that 16 root 2 equals 2 to the power of a, find the value of a. So firstly, let's have a look at the 16 root 2. So 16, you should know your powers of 2. So for instance, 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2. 2 squared is equal to 4. 2 cubed is equal to 8. 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16. 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 32 and so on. You should know those off by heart. Okay, so 16 would be 2 to the power of 4. So let's write that as 2 to the power of 4 times. And root 2, remember earlier, root 2 is the same as 2 to the power of a half. Okay, so the square root is the same as to the power of a half. So this would be uh, 2 to the power of 4, which is a 16, times 2 to the power of a half. And then remember, if you multiply um, indices, so with the same base number, so if you multiply these together, you add the indices, so you're going to get 2 to the power of 4.5 or, or 2 to the power of 4.5. They, they both would be acceptable answers, okay? So the value of a, a is equal to 4.5. Let's have a look at another exam question. So this time the question says express 8 to the power of 2x plus 3 in the form 2 to the power of y, stating y in terms of x. So firstly let's have a look at this. We have 8 to the power of 2x plus 3. Now 8, remember from our previous slide, 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2, 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 4, 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8. So instead of writing 8, we could write 2 cubed all to the power of 2x plus 3. So what we've just done is write our 8 as 2 cubed. i just put it in brackets. Now, if you've got a power of a power, or a power of a power, you times the powers together, and you get that's a to the power of nm, or, M -N in, or mn in alphabetical order. So you times the powers together if you've got a power of a power. So we're going to times these powers together. So that's going to give you, that's equal to 2, 3 times 2x is 6x, and 3 times 3 is 9. So we've got that 8 to the power of 2x plus 3 would be the same as 2 to the power of 6x plus 9. Now the question says, put it in the form of y, or 2 to the power of y, stating y in terms of x. So if this was 2 to the power of y, notice the y would be equal to 6x plus 9. So the main thing with a question like this, you want to ex you look at the base number of what you're trying to get to. So we want it as base or two to the power of something. So what we need to do is we need to change this eight to two to the power of something. Okay, let's have a look at another question. So this question says, given that three to the power of x equals twenty-seven to the power of y minus four, show that x equals three y minus twelve. So again, let's start off by writing three x or three to the power of x is equal to twenty-seven to the power of y minus 4. Now, we want to have these as the same base number. So notice if you have 3 to the power of 1, it's equal to 3. 3 squared is equal to 9. 3 cubed is equal to 27, and so on. Notice that 27 is the same as 3 cubed. So what we could do is we could rewrite this as 3 to the power of x equals, and instead of 27, write your 3 cubed. So let's put that on a bracket, 3 cubed and then put the power which was y minus 4. Now remember this is a power of a power, so you times the powers together. So you're going to get 3 to the power of x equals, let's times these together, 3 to the power of, 3 times y is 3y, and 3 times minus 4 would be minus 12. So we've times those together, so look, notice, if you could 3 to the power of x and 3 to the power of 3x minus 12, the powers would have to be the same as each other. So that means that x equals 3y minus 12. And so we have proved that for x equals 3x minus 12, or 3y minus 12. Let's have a look at another exam question. So this time we've been asked to solve 4 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x minus 4 equals 2 root 2. So 4 to the power of x over 2 to the power of x minus 4 equals 2 root 2. Notice here we've got 2 to the power of something, 2 root 2, and 4, but also remember that 4 would be equal to 2 squared. So what we can do is we can change this 4 to be 2 squared. So what we're going to do is we're going to get 2 squared 
in brackets to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x minus 4. And let's just have a look at this right hand side. We've got 2 root 2. 2 is the same as 2 to the power of 1. And root 2 is the same as 2 to the power of a half. And whenever we times those two together, we add the powers together. So that would be to the power of 2 to the power of 1 and a half. So 2 root 2 is the same as 2 to the power of 1 and a half. So we know that if we, uh, let's simplify this a bit, so let's multiply these two powers together. So we're going to get 2 to the power of 2x divided by 2 to the power of x minus 4 equals 2 to the power of 1 and a half. Now let's just write this in a different format. Okay, remember if you divide, uh, if you divide, you take away the powers. So we've got two to the power of two x divided by two to the power of x minus four. So we can take away these powers. Remember, if you have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of m n, that's equal to a to the power of m minus n. Likewise, if you had a to the seven divided by a to the three, that's equal to a to the four. So we're going to take away these powers, so we're going to get 2, and let's take them away, so we're going to get 2x subtract whatever this is, I'm just going to put it in brackets, x minus 4, and that equals 2 to the 1 and a half. Notice we've got 2 to the power of something equals 2 to the power of something. So that means that these two powers must be equal to each other. So that means that, let's get rid of this. That means that, if I just move this up here, that these two powers are the same, so we know that, therefore, 2x minus x minus 4 equals 1 and a half. Let's just uh, expand this, we're going to get 2x minus x, we're going to be careful here, minus and a minus make a plus 4 equals 1 and a half. Simplify this, 2x take away x is x plus 4 is equal to 1 and a half and then take away the 4 it gives you x equals 1.5 take away 4 would be minus 2.5 or minus 2 and a half so the answer is x equals minus 2 and a half so the main point with a question like this is first of all change them to have all the same base so you've got 2 to the power of something 2 root 2 you had 4 which can be written as 2 squared so we change this 4 to 2 squared you then times those powers together to get 2 to the power of 2x and also the 2 root 2 that's 2 to the 1 times 2 to the half which would be 2 to the 1 and a half and then divide the powers to so take away these two powers to get x minus x minus 4 in brackets and equals 1 and a half therefore the powers equal each other so you just solve that equation okay and our last exam question this last question says solve the equation 81 to the power of 7 minus x over 27 to the power of 4x plus 1 equals 3. Notice we've got the 3 here. We've got 27 and 81. Now again, with these types of questions, it's really useful to know what your 2 squares, 2 cubes, that sort of thing, and also 3 to the certain powers would be. Okay, So 3 to the 1 is equal to 3. 3 squared is equal to 9. 3 cubed, 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, 3 to the power of 4 is equal to 81. Notice we have got our 27 and our 81 here. So we're going to change all the bases to 3. So we're going to do it. Instead of 81, we're going to write 3 to the power of 4, all to the power of 7 minus x, divided by, and instead of the 27, writing 3 squared, so 3, or 3 cubed, so 3 cubed to the power of 4x plus 1, and that equals 3. Let's times the powers together. So you're going to get 3 to the power of 28 minus 4x. That's just doing 4 times 7, 28, and 4 times x minus 4x over. Let's times these together. So 3 times 4x is 12x, and 3 times 1 is plus 3 equals 3. Remember, that's 3 to the power of 1. You can have a, you know, 3 to the 1 is 3. Just so that whenever we put these equal to each other, it's a bit easier. Now, whenever you're dividing, remember you're taking away the powers. So that's going to be 3 to the power of 28 minus 4x subtract, and let's put this in brackets, 12x plus 3. And that equals 3 to the 1. So I know that this power is equal to 1. So let's then equate the powers. So we would write 28 minus 4x 
minus in brackets 12x plus 3 equals, and the power here is 1. So whenever we expand, we get 28 minus 4x minus 12 minus, and the plus make minus 3 equals 1. So then that would give, if we simplify this side, we're going to get 25 minus 16x equals 1. Let's take away the 25 to get minus 16x equals minus 24. And then divide, then we'll give you x equals 24 over 16. And if we cancel that down, that's going to give you 3 over 2.